Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video uh, I'm going to be talking about the new sword Falling Guillotine which is basically just Dark Drinker uh, disguised as Cloud's Buster Sword um, and also how to make swords during this season really really strong even though they already are strong uh, you can make them way stronger so uh, first off getting the sword uh, you want to get to rank 30 in the new season pass. You will need the actual... Oh, actually, you don't need the season pass. You just need to hit rank 30. So, free players or people that actually have the pass, you just need to hit 30 and you get the sword. And then, when you get to uh, 45 and you get the pulse rifle, you'll be able to open umbral engrams and get random rolls with the sword. Uh, the ideal um, roll right now is Relentless with Whirlwind, or Relentless Surrounded, or Tireless Blade Whirlwind. Um, Tireless gives you more of the spin, so... Because you get ammo back uh, every other spin, I think. And because the spin takes so much ammo, and it attacks and procs multiple times, you actually get a bit more ammo back than you normally would. So, that's really cool. Um, anyway, to make the swords stronger than they already are, you want this mod right here, Lucent Blade. Um, the upgrade for the mod, which requires an Arc mod alongside it, uh, isn't necessary because you want to keep Whirlwind up all the time, so you want to do five swings and then spin. And by the time you do the five swings again anyway, you're going to be able to spin full charge. So that charge perk doesn't really matter, which is why I put this on my boots because I ran out of energy and yeah, can't get the charge perk anyway. But basically, when you're charged with light, this this thing makes your swords do quite a chunk more damage for 5 seconds, but it only consumes one stack. So, you want this mod to pair with it, supercharged, or, honestly, you could just have charged up, or you could have the void version of it, um, which is called Stacks on Stacks. I would recommend using the solar ones over this. This one's good, but... If you care about stats, use the solar one because you don't lose any stacks, uh, um, stats even, for the stacks that you gain. So, really it's up to you, it's personal preference. I just prefer the solar ones. Um, so yeah, thing to note is that Lucent Blade only takes one stack and with this perk you can have up to five stacks. So after the five seconds is up, if you still have a stack, which you probably will, um, it will just reactivate. So if the boss isn't dead, or if whatever you're killing isn't dead, after those 5 seconds, another 5 seconds of the Lucent Blade like buff will proc. So, pretty much you have, as long as you have stacks, or uh, charge light, whatever, um, you pretty much have infinite damage buff, because I highly doubt whatever you're trying to kill is going to last long enough to cut through 5 stacks of light, right? Or Charge of Light. Um, now, actually getting Charge of Light is completely up to you. Uh, there are so many perks in the game, or mods in the game, that can give you Charge of Light. Personally, right now, I'm using Quick Charge, because the Garden of Salvation Bond, which uh, isn't being sunsetted, which is why I'm using it, has access to this mod. And I am using a shotgun. I'm using my Kelos, um, the new one. So, I get Quick Charge going, you know, I, I just get multi kills with a shotgun, I get charge of light, and then I get charge of light 5 because I can do that now, and then when I want to use my sword I go in, lucent blade uh, procs, and pow, things die. So yeah, that's pretty much how you get the sword, very easy to get the sword, you just farm bounties, right? Bounty goblin, and then uh, you get lucent blade, you get quick charge or whatever charge of light perk you want, and you want supercharged. Now. If you do not have these mods, do not worry. Anyone can get these mods without actually owning the mods. All you need is a Season of Worthy armor piece. It doesn't matter what armor piece or what element, you get all the mods. So, this is a Void um, Season of Worthy Bond. And I already have all the perks for Arrivals. Even though some of these haven't been sold and I don't have the levels to get these, I still have them. So this is a solar season of worthy. And I have everything. Right? Even these. This one. 
which I just bought right now actually, because it's on sale. Uh, and Ark, uh, well I guess, do I even have Ark? Uh, I guess I don't, but let's just pretend I did, and you'd be able to seal the mods. This is what you'd get. You'd get this, you'd get this, you'd get Lucent Blade, and I think there's one more. Let's just pretend I had Ark on me, right, and I showed you all that, whatever. Um, so yeah, that was it. I guess just for the rest of the video now, it's just going to be gameplay of the sword, just going absolute ham on bosses. I just wanted to do a little video on the sword just because it is a really hot topic right now and there's a lot of things that people don't know about the swords and things that you can do to make the swords better because I have seen people running around with this thing or with the arc version which is also really good um, the bolt caster and they're not using lucent blade they're not using you know it just all this stuff so yeah just wanted to get this out here uh, enjoy the gameplay and that's pretty much it Adios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I get the deep stone. Right, what the fuck? Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> Are you just R1 spammers? <laughs> 